simple gaming noob. And today's request is by this guy, Genus or Genius. I don't know which one he was going for, but let's just say Genus. Genus asks, say, yo, technically, what Genus is asking for is how to transfer files, PKG or whatever, through PC FileZilla to PS3. And, uh, you know. I'll show you how. If it wasn't for him, I wasn't even gonna think about this video. But yeah, so big up Genos, isn't it? So now, I think every modded PS3, when modded, it should come with um FPT, FTP um file. If not, you can download it. I'm using um at the time I, when I had this, I was using a res not a resign um. A stealth one so when you use like you know when you're playing a game and you know your friend goes on your profile and it shows what game they're playing yes yeah, Sony can also see that so I had sprung for the hidden one the stealth version so when if I'm if I go on this the Sony it, it pops up say oh I'm playing FIFA 11 so yeah so there's two ways of doing this so I'll show you the first way first way Use black box. And you don't you don't have to update it. It's not really needed I'm gonna update anyway. So circle and bam that's it. The IP address will show here, but I just blocked up mine because you know I fuck all your hacker hacker ass people. <laughs> and um that'll be the IP address that comes up for your PS3. So onto the computer now. All right, people. So here we are on the PC, right, people, so here we are and I already have my files still open. So all I need to do is look at the IP address on your TV, which is what you, with the, which that is your PS3 IP address. You're gonna copy it. You're gonna put it here and then press enter. Press quick, quick connect. Doesn't matter. As you can see, this is as you're looking at right here. This is the hard drive of my. Hard drive. That's, that's, that's not external hard drive for my PS3. That's, that's, that's not external hard drive for my PS3. So this is how it looks originally. So this, is it looks originally. This, is, this is all the files that are in your PS3 hard drive. PS3 hard drive. Please, people, do do not mess with any of these three. Do not, do not touch them. Just leave them alone. So yeah. So technically, that's everything so how to use. Uh, FTP server for your PS3. And if you want proof. All right, this is my. All right, this is my. This is my external hard drive, for my, external PS3. Hard drive for my PS3. Hard drive for my PS3. As you can see, there's everything, and I'm going to send over a file. I'm going to send over. And show you guys. I'll show you guys. Let me copy. Let me copy. All right, all files have been transferred. All right, all files have been transferred. Now back to the PS3. Now back to the PS3. One more. One more. All right, we're back here on the PS3. Now let me show the proof that it was it was sent to my hard drive, and here we go. The gear manager that I sent over, as you guys could see. And here are my other PKGs I have in my hard drive. And yeah, that's method one of doing it. Method two is I don't know if you, I didn't I don't know if you guys know this, but I figured this out like like back in last year, but I failed to do the video. But yeah, your yeah, multiman has a built-in um built-in network connector or whatever I'll, I'll show you guys all right people for this part here I had to edit it out because the song that plays in multi-man if you put it on YouTube you will get copyright striked and not copyright, but you will get you will get copyright infringement on your video, and you, they'll 
put um put it where you can where certain certain places can see the video. So I said no, let me take that down. So instead of being you know doing the right thing and do that part of the video all over again, it slipped me. And I should have been doing it now, but whatever. Um, yeah, this part right here not really anything major. I'm just showing you where to go. <coughs> so you can, you're currently seeing my how my my multi man is set up, where you can enable the FTP FTP. Yeah, in multi man. So you can set it to one to nine minutes, or no timeout. Which is the best one to use because if you're gonna send over like large game files or PKG files or whatever, you don't want it to stay on unlimited. So that if nine minutes pass while sending a ten gigabyte game, it won't, you know, just get interrupted. So yeah. And as long as you're as as long as you're on multi man yeah everything will send good and everything so you won't have to you know do anything else just copy it um go on it let it send and don't touch anything don't play any games just leave it to leave it to stand or if you do it will get interrupted and it will stop so yeah genus build up yourself as i say again and people if you want to make a request for any video leave it either go on my instagram at underscore dj legend you can just you can just um you can dm me or on down in the comment section below this or any video on my youtube channel in the comment box and subscribe to the gaming room for new or you know you want to learn more and i'm out